Good evening and welcome back to another video. A couple of weeks ago I realized that I was really out of shape and I've started to train hard again and I definitely wanted to document my progression uh, going from weak to getting in shape again but I think if I did there wouldn't be any progression to talk about so I decided not to film any of that. But today I'm gonna do another session, try to get in shape. Um, Cecilia is still injured. That was an injury from before we started training together. Uh, she's taken a cortisone shot, so she can't climb for the next two weeks. So you're stuck with me, <clears throat> to, uh, for today at least. Uh, today I'm gonna do some strength training, some bouldering and some circuits. And uh, the gym is closed, so I have it all to myself. Solo vlog, solo mission. Solo mission. Let's head to the gym. Alright, so I'm at the gym now, um, I'm gonna start with some bouldering, uh, start with some really easy bouldering and then gradually go a little bit higher, but I think I'm gonna switch to uh, voiceover mode for now. So this is how I'll warm up, or at least like 90% of the time. Start traversing, then do a bunch of easier problems and then gradually increase the difficulty. But I'm like the worst warmer upper. Yeah, I know that's not a word, but what I'm trying to get to is that you're probably better off making your own warm-up routine. And I rarely do any stretching, and that's not because I don't believe in it, but rather just a result of laziness. I'm not gonna talk during my bouldering this time though, so uh, let's crank the volume back up.
so that took about 40 minutes. Now it's time for the strength. We start with one-handed dead hangs. And I use this counterweight in case I need some extra help. Usually what happens if I'm too weak is that I'll try to cheat, either by hanging open hand or full crimp. For this exercise though, we want half crimp. I start with three repetitions on both hands with straight arm. And all this footage is real time so that you can see how long I'm actually hanging for. In total I do 3 repetitions on each arm, before doing it again, but this time with my arm a little bit bent. You know what, I'll put the program down in the right corner so that it's easier to follow. There is no rest between the right and the left arm, but there's a 4 minute rest between the repetitions. Which I know a lot of you will say is a lot. But if you want every hang to be high quality, you need at least that much. If you think it's too much, then just do some stretching in between or something. Okay, so now the last three on 90 degrees. Next exercise, negative weighted one arm pull ups. I do three on each hand. And again, four minute rest. And I use 10 kilos. I try to spend as long as I can on the way down in one control movement. For my left arm I had to go down to 8 kilos. And even that was a struggle. And the last strength exercise is uh, front levers. 5 repetitions times 3. With, you guessed it, 4 minute rest. So it was already past midnight and it was time to do my circuits. 25 moves times 5, 10 to 15 minute rest. Making a circuit can take a lot of time, but that's part of the training. It's important to make sure that it's even and that you can't rest anywhere. So here's the circuit I made for today's session. And here's my first out of 5 tries. People often ask me how I'm able to train alone, and I think that's just something I'm used to. Because growing up I didn't have a lot of people to train with, who were psyched for the same thing as I was. So I had to rely on my own motivation, and I became really good at pushing myself, even when there was no one else watching. And training alone like this, way past midnight, takes me back to those years. Those teenage years, when climbing and training was all that I thought about. And people thought that I was sacrificing so much for my climbing. But the truth is, I didn't feel like I sacrificed anything. Okay, so round two. And round two is usually better than the first round. Even though you're still a little bit tired from the first round, you know the circuit better. You don't hesitate as much.
You've uh, seen the beginning a couple of times already, so I'm just going to skip to the top on this third attempt. And I'll skip to the top also on the fourth attempt. So I think it's pretty interesting how even though I got more and more tired I was still able to do it on the fourth attempt just because I knew the circuit better. And on my fifth attempt I was still pretty tired it seems from the fourth attempt. I fell really low down and I had to give it one last go. I'm gonna speed it up this time though. Okay, so um, I wanted to end today's vlog in the car because uh, I've had it for three years and the lease is up and it's time to return it. So uh, bye bye car. Uh, I've had a lot of good memories uh, on and off cam, but it's time to give you back. So you gotta go. Um, that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing and I will see you in the next video with uh, maybe a more raw vlog. I'm not sure. Alright, bye bye. <laughs>